Achieving intelligent growth, connecting intelligence across the information ecosystem to transform the customer experience. Did you know that typical companies receive about 65% of their revenue from existing customers? And making sure existing customers are loyal can increase profits between 25 and 80%. Retaining and enhancing existing customers is the number one business priority for CEOs. The problem is that your customer intelligence processes and technologies are likely not up to date. You could be losing profits and customers daily. Meet Jenny. Jenny is 45 years old, has four children, and subscribes to your company, CableCo. She has been a valued and high-spending customer for over three years, and she loves to program her DVR with all her and her family's favorite shows. Hi, Jenny. Meet Sarah. Sarah, like Jenny, is a customer of CableCo, and her children attend the same school as Jenny's children. Hi, Sarah. Your traditional CRM tells you that Sarah and Jenny have the same likes and dislikes and purchase the same cable packages. But what your CRM is missing is that Jenny is an influential social networker on Facebook, Twitter, and blogging sites where Sarah and other potential customers frequently spend time and where Jenny eagerly shares her favorite and not-so-favorite brands with her friends and readers, including her love for Cable Co. Until Jenny begins complaining that her DVR box is defective and she has received no response from anyone at Cable Co. Soon her story of dissatisfaction is all over the web. And now Sarah voices to customer service that she is considering switching cable providers. You and your employees are confused. According to your CRM, Sarah is a happy customer who has never had any complaints. But your CRM is missing half the picture. HP can help you see the whole picture. When you're aware of Jenny's bad experience and her reaction, you apologize for the poor customer service, fix her DVR box, and also ask Jenny to be a blogger in your growing internet community. Jenny happily accepts, and her first blog is about how your company, Cable Co., made a wrong into something very, very right. And because Sarah reads Jenny's blog, she decides not to switch cable providers. So what's the bottom line? Being active in the social lives of your customers shows that your company listens to your customers. By allowing Jenny to tell her story through social media, you have created a social currency because Jenny, now an advocate, already has a loyal audience that is standing by her side. Customers use social networks to talk about you, talk to you, and talk with you. HP Enterprise Services Connected Intelligence using social and enterprise intelligence to transform the customer experience.